A 13 year old Paso Robles girl is recovering after being bitten by a sea lion in Pismo Beach. It's an attack California Fish and Wildlife officials say is extremely rare. KSBY's Melissa Newman spoke with the girl. She joins us now live from Pismo Beach. Melissa, was the sea lion provoked at all? No, Karina. In fact, in the photo you're about to see, you can watch as the sea lion charges right at her and her friends. They were dancing in the shoreline just to my right here. Now, while this attack is considered an anomaly by California Fish and Wildlife, they hope that it also serves as a reminder to be cautious around wildlife. It was a fun beach day with friends now turned into a painful memory. I was just kind of jumping around, dancing, just having fun, and they were like taking funny pictures of me, and we're just like all laughing. And then, yeah, the sea lion attacked me. 13 year old Megan Pagnini's friend's photo shows what happened next. In this slow down iPhone live photo, you can see a sea lion charging at her in the water. I felt it on my leg, and I looked down and like freaked out. I didn't even know what it was. All I knew is that something was like, attacking me. People walking nearby quickly jumped in to help her, shocked that something like this could happen unprovoked. After uh, we, her leg was wrapped up and everything, she turned and looked at my husband and me and apologized to us like like she ruined our weekend or something. And it really just melted my heart that that little girl was worried about us in that moment. California Fish and Wildlife Patrol Captain Todd Tognazzini says attacks like these are extremely rare. They're now treating the sea lion for possible domoic acid poisoning, a toxin that impacts the brain, because they say the sea lion's erratic behavior didn't stop there. We believe that that was why the uh, sea lion in this incident not only bit the person, but then came on land and, and bit some metal lifeguard stands. The Pagnini family is now warning other families to be cautious at the beach this summer as Megan remains uncertain she'll ever feel comfortable going back. I think I know that if I ever do, I will be a lot more cautious and careful about where I am and my surroundings. While there's potentially a long road for recovery for Megan, she tells me that she hoped to be recovered in time to play soccer in August and also the start of her freshman year at Paso Robles High School. Live in Pismo Beach, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. And the Marine Mammal Center says the cases of sea lions ending up on Central Coast beaches increased last Monday but are starting to slow down again. They say domoic acid is becoming more of a year-round problem. If you do see a marine mammal in distress, you're asked to call the Marine Mammal Center to get help. They ask that you do not touch the animal and to give it some space.